Hello friends, this is Melanie, the Mistress of the Dorkness. In another episode of The Fork Side, I'm going to be doing another product review today. I caught some of these skinny mixes on sale, um, Jordan Skinny Syrups. Not sponsored by them, I just caught stuff on a sale and wanted to give an independent review of it. And I, I got a box of 12. So I could try all sorts of different things. And the first round I'm going to be doing is compatible with coffee. So I've got some little pre-shots of coffee made up here. Um, not cold coffee. Um, whatever floats your boat, but it's pretty hot here in St. Louis right now. So I'm not sure how much to put in watching other reviews. Some people said the stuff's really sweet. Other people thought it wasn't sweet enough. I think those were in the minority. So I've got um, quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, full teaspoon, but I also have a smidgen, pinch, and dash. So let's go ahead and get started on our first flavor. So the first flavor I'm going to try is the plain vanilla, again with some uh, cold coffee here. Vanilla is one of my go-tos as long as it's like a good vanilla and not like a chemically tasting one. And for a sugar-free syrup, that's not too bad. Uh, I've next got vanilla almond. Okay, I kind of like that better than the regular vanilla. It's not quite as uh, sweet and overwhelming in flavor, but there's still, you know, a little bit of um, nuttiness and savoriness. Next up is the Irish cream. Okay, again, a little bit sweeter, but it's it's actually pretty tasty. I think I, w I would, actually, I would, I would have that in a cold coffee, too, maybe with some, uh, you know, almond milk or blended up with a frozen banana. It goes well with the coffee. I like it. Doesn't taste like whiskey or anything, but it's definitely got the Irish cream flavor. Okay, this is peanut butter cup. You know, I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't really um I mean like you can smell it. I ended up doing um just under half a teaspoon, so more than a quarter of a teaspoon, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one because I can't really taste it as much as I smell it. Okay, adding more makes it more or, or peanut butter cup. Sorry, maybe it's the complaint everybody or some of the reviews I read had about some of their chocolate flavors. Like I can smell peanut butter. I'm just not really tasting anything except sugar. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd still I'd put that in a smoothie or something. Blend it up maybe with some chocolate protein powder and a frozen banana and some almond milk. Um, but I, I probably wouldn't get that one again. Um, next up is um, I, I saw some not great reviews of the s'mores flavor, so I didn't get that one. Instead, I got the toasted marshmallow because some people really seem to love that one. Ooh, oh, that's good. I mean, I love graham crackers. I love chocolate, but the best part of a s'more is that all oh, that burnt crispy marshmallow. Oh, yeah, buddy. I'm just going to take a moment. <laughs> Okay, I I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about that, but I think it, it really captured the essence of burnt marshmallow. That's that's awesome. Okay, so the last flavor in the first round is maple bourbon pecan, 
wanted to go for something a little funky in there, too. Okay, I like that one. A little sweetness, a little nuttiness, almost a hint of bourbon. I think that would go nicely in a hot coffee with a little bit of, you know, I don't know, maybe something else thrown in on top of that. Next up, I'm going to look at the fruit flavors. Okay, so mixed with some seltzer, I've got the banana split flavor next. And again, I did like um, just around a half a teaspoon. Ooh, ooh, that's tasty. A little too sweet. I think I should add some more seltzer to that. Should have gone with like the quarter of a teaspoon for this volume. But that is really good. I really like that. Um, I'd say like mixing that with seltzer, like a diet 7-Up or something would be awesome. So next up is the mango. Hmm. Okay, I like that. It's not quite as sweet as the banana split. But it's just got like a good fruity, summery flavor. Like I would, you know, have some seltzer, some of this, and like throw in some random fruit scraps and have a low-calorie sangria. Um, I didn't mention wine, but I suppose you could put that in there too. Um, the last one in the fruit section is dragon fruit acai. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of an aftertaste off one of these. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, I didn't bring any water to clean my palate. Yeah. How about uh, Diet Dr. Lou? Okay. Okay, I I think it may be this one. I'm getting a slight chemically aftertaste, but it's still really good. Um, not sure I'd get that one again, but I would definitely get the uh, banana split and the mango. I think those were good. The dragon fruit I would definitely get again, except just like that little bit of aftertaste because I would want to, you know, beverages with friends, and I I don't think I would want to give them a beverage with an aftertaste. Obviously, all of our taste buds are different, so you can't quite be sure. All right, for the final rounds, I'm going with the mixers, um, pina colada, blood orange margarita, and the jalapeno margarita. So this is mixed at a two to three to one ratio for syrup to alcohol. And these do have some calories in them, n not nearly as much as traditional mixers do. You'll notice the bottles are slightly larger and they're slightly cheaper, probably just because the difference in volume here. The first one, I'm starting off traditional with pina colada. So I did two parts pina colada mix to, I don't know, probably three quarters of a part of... Um, vodka. And I know I could have done like a full one-to-one -one because my ratios aren't going to make mathematical sense, but I didn't want to go overboard here. Ooh. I taste the coconut. I taste a lot of sugar. I would probably... Um, I, I I would get this again, but I would definitely like filter out the sweetness by adding a bunch of seltzer because it's just I'm not going to have more of that. I'm going to add some seltzer to it and finish that off later. Um, give me something neutral to clear my tongue with. All right, next up is the blood orange margarita. So same ratio. I did like. One of these shot glasses to about a third. So one shot glass full of the mix and then about a third of full of vodka. Ooh, 
I like that. A tiny bit of sweetness, but not overwhelming like some of the other ones. You can definitely taste the citrus in there. That's pretty good. Yeah, I would get that again and share it with friends for sure. And let's see, my my last one is a jalapeno margarita. Wouldn't have been my first pick, but I saw somebody review it, and I'm like, you know what? They said it was good. I like margaritas okay, but I love jalapenos. So, And if you ever get like those chocolate bars, like usually dark chocolate with chili in them, so you get like the nice creamy chocolate and then like the little burn of the chili. I love that. So let's give it a try. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Like there is a little bit of burn at the end. So people who don't like that burn, they could probably, you know, have some citrus in there. Um, or, you know, maybe throw in some cherries for a little sweetness to cut through it. Or some sliced up strawberries would be good for dealing with uh, burny foods. That's I like that. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Need some ice cube. So it's like really super cold. So the burn of the pepper is even more noticeable. I would definitely recommend that. Uh, I'm not huge on regular margaritas because I don't like just full in-your-face citrus. But if it's working together with something else, I absolutely love it. So let me take a look at my notes, and I will pick which is my favorite from each round and which I probably wouldn't get again. So just to recap... I've got a keep column and a I'm I'll finish it but I won't buy it again column. So I like the vanilla almonds, decent flavor, um the toasted marshmallow I love. The maple bourbon pecan was really good. Banana split was tasty even though it was a little bit sweet for me, it was still really good. Definitely going to get it again. Mango's great summer flavor. Blood orange margarita was pretty good. And I love, love, love the jalapeno margarita. So in the not keep column, the vanilla was a bit sweet and a bit, uh, I, I kind of feel like I can find that anywhere. Same with the Irish cream. The peanut butter cup smelled like peanut butter, but nothing to write home about. I wouldn't bother with it. Dragon fruit acai had a nice flavor, but a weird aftertaste. And the pina colada, I've added a bunch of seltzer to it, and it's still sickly sweet and just really oomph flavor-wise. If you like that, go for it. Otherwise, I think I would have to blend it up with a whole bunch of other things, like a bunch of ice and milk and cream and everything but the kitchen sink um, to get me to use it again. So I hope you appreciate a little bit of an insight and also appreciation to all those other video reviewers out there who helped me narrow down my selection of flavors today. If you'd like to see any more content, please feel free to explore my YouTube channel. You can also see an associated blog post for this and other videos that I do or just articles and recipes I share at theforkside.blogspot.com. I'm also on Twitter at The Forkside and Instagram at Forkside. Hope to see you again soon.